Hey guys, Mystic here. Welcome to Feed the Beast Neotech. Now we're just going ahead and starting to craft the things we're going to need for this episode and those are everything that I'm going to need to start Applied Energistics. As you saw we were getting our AE2 plates and blocks. Now I'm just making all the machines I'm going to need in our factory to start the process. Now over here at our factory, I do want to find somewhere to actually place down our turbines. I did go ahead and upgrade our large tank here, just so I could burn through some steam. And I also made a redstone control module, so I can turn on and off our steam boiler, so we're not constantly burning through our creosote oil. So I can turn this guy off, it'll stop working, and this will no longer burn. Because we've set up our tree farm, as you saw, to automatically bring in all of our spruce logs. And we have plenty of steam to get started in the LVH here. But however, I do want to find a place to put down these turbines. And I'm thinking, since it does do eight maybe we do four like so i mean it's kind of just in the middle but we can place some machine casings behind it like hide the cables with a machine of some sort because these guys will come out like this and we do maybe iron blocks or something a chiseled iron block maybe like this guy here or the plated right and we do a bit of chiseling we'll see and then we'll just have them run to the back over there so if i do steam pipes like this this should input steam i believe i'm not sure but i believe they should be able to get input from the back otherwise this plan will not work i fear however i do want to run out the power like this and then up this wooden post right here i do however need a lot more tin cables i fear that's not going to be enough i'm going to need a lot more there we go that should be plenty now if i just run these guys underground alongside all of our other pipes oh there's fluid pipes there uh oh that's not ideal forgot about those i really should turn on the wrench mode but yeah i should turn this guy on just so we know where all of our pipes are while constructing down here however this will be an issue unless i go underneath like this actually that it won't be slightly jank we do what we have to and this will be our output and these guys should get steam perfect they do now i actually might want to run these storage units right in behind them so we do pipe iron block iron block and then maybe the storage units back here will that work i guess it will work so we'll do two sets of iron blocks back here just so it looks nice and then these guys will just get pumped in through there and they can be outputted anywhere i believe or no it's inputted anywhere outputted specifically here so we'll do output down here oh no i don't want that connected should get power to the top of the base i will do this cover these guys up do this and will this match rotation oh it will nice and it looks normal perfect perfect and then once again we'll just throw iron blocks on the back of these guys and eventually get two sets of these and that should not be going downwards now we'll head upstairs and with some simple cover-ups we now have energy flowing from down there into our power banks which are very limited at the moment and then up to our main floor where all of our power will be or our machines will be i guess that's our second floor but yeah these guys are all working as intended these guys are all full of 192 k e each perfect and yeah this guy's just full of steam actually he's not full of steam if i turn this on it will start to fill up as you watch there we go and then i can turn it off just because we have enough reserve and it will continuously burn creosote and charcoal even if there's nowhere for the steam to go it will just continuously burn it so obviously it is good to have a permanently running tree farm however there's no point when you have such a large reserve tank to run it permanently now for machine wise i need my macerator my mixer my compressor packer and a polarizer so we'll just do macerator mixer compressor packer polarizer random order doesn't really matter and these guys are not getting power unfortunately probably should have thought that through first and easy enough fix they all have power i probably should leave this exposed for now just so we can configure it later 
later, but I think it's fine. So now we do have a full on system and I do also have these upgrade cards. I got them from request. They are right here, the basic upgrades. These allow overclocking plus two per tick and we have enough power, I believe. So I'm going to throw one in the macerator. I'm going to throw one in the mixer and why not all of them can have one. Now, I don't know exactly what these do. I've never used MI basic upgrades before, so we'll see how these exactly work out. And then you change machine hole to connect higher tier cables. Interesting. So that's how you upgrade the machines, but that is not something we're doing right now. We're currently stuck with low voltage. However, if we go into the quest here, LV me wants me to make the each one of the logic circuits as well as silicon. Now, silicon itself is pretty easy. You just make it dust, which is surface quartz, quartz, and sand. And then for all of the presses, you need surface quartz, diamond, and gold. Very standard. Now, the packer is going to be your best friend for all of these recipes as the packer is what creates them with each calculation press. So eventually, we're going to want more of these just so we can have each uh, press in each packer. And I have an extra one. Oh no, concurrent press is not something we can use right now because we don't have intro. That's why. Never mind. But yeah, eventually we'll want a packer for each crystal. However, for now, we're just going to brute force it with the four that we have. But to get certus cords, we actually need to use the budding certus cords. Now, these guys will grow very, very slowly and painfully. However, you can speed them up with growth accelerators. Now, I don't know if we can actually make these yet. No, it doesn't seem we can make growth accelerators just quite yet as they do require fluix, which obviously requires charged certus cords, which isn't hard to make. You can just make this with a polarizer. However, once again, we do actually need the certus quartz itself. Now, you can get these from villagers and villagers are going to be very useful in this pack if you're playing with them. I'm personally not choosing to use villagers. You can get the fluix researcher by making a charger block. Oh, actually, you can't make the charger in this pack. Never mind. That villager is off limits by the pack devs. So just kidding. However, I do want to place my certus quartz out here. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. I probably just placed two cables down, actually. Yeah, and why did that? And we'll go two over. So I went ahead and placed down all nine just on top of these random tin cables so we can get these to start growing. Obviously, without crystal growth accelerators, these are going to be painfully slow. Now, I don't think there's anything else in the pack that I can speed them up. I didn't see anything in the quests specifically. Yeah, now it doesn't look like there's actually anything in the quest that tells you you can speed them up without getting into the... Yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's anything to actually speed up the growth of the Sirtis Quartz crystals without a growth accelerator. And once again, we can't do this without Sirtis Quartz. So we'll just have to let these guys bud over time. It will be a slow process. But in the meantime, I kind of want to upgrade my drill here. Now, this guy is pretty simple to upgrade. There is a quest board up here in power mining in the LV age, and this requires us to get into actually additions, which is back in 1.20.4 for Neoforge, which is really cool. This mod hasn't been around for a while since probably the 112 days, maybe 116. However, it's back and I'm really excited to use it again. It's always a fun mod to use. However, we can go ahead and get into the atomic reconstructor, which requires an assembler to make. However, the crafting recipe itself doesn't seem too bad. It's a bit to stick some iron in black quartz. Black quartz is pretty easy. We already have the compressor to make it, so that's pretty easy, hopefully. And then the assembler itself is, once again, just some robot arms and other things. So that should be pretty easy. And other than that, I just need an advanced coil and a drill core, which is more iron, redstone. Apparently, I need a molten redstone bucket. A superior redstone that is used to recrystallize many advanced components. You'll want an automated supply of this eventually. You have multiple options for how you wish to process it. You can either run redstone through a steam blast furnace, or you can mix it. Ooh cool interesting and then what does it want me to do with this it wants me to make oh that's you make the me controller and how you get all your processors good to know good to know so yeah we definitely need a sbf just for this here and i'll probably disconnect actually no i'll just build a new sbf in our factory here and this will be specifically just for redstone so that's not too bad and we can just bring the steam over from over there i'll probably do three steam blast furnaces and i will show you what i mean when you can share walls so we can actually bring our two steam blast furnaces over and we'll share the walls between them all and put them all three in between here maybe even four i don't know how many fit we do three and then three 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 oh yeah we probably fit four steam blast furnaces in here pretty useful and then we can get everything automated steel redstone oil and all the other the other one there's probably something else in the steam blast furnace but yeah i'm gonna go craft with some fire clay bricks and we can make so yeah i'm gonna go craft up some fire clay bricks and we can make our steam blast furnace just over here and start to get the redstone going while these guys start to bud oh we do have one finally budded over there that 
that's our assembler done. Avengers assemble. Yes, sir. Now we get some analog circuits and robot arms for that, so that's nice. And then yeah, this guy just wants us to make some more fire clay bricks. And this also needs a diamond plate. Do I have an extra diamond? I think I might have used my last diamonds making a second machine. I think I'm out of diamonds entirely. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to make another trip back to... I can't see from here. The Undergarden. So now we just gotta go hook up our assembler over there. I really got a builder bridge here, by the way, just so I can cross with my horse a lot easier to my factory. May as well just pull my own dirt right now. And then eventually we'll make this into an ice bridge. I want to do this on my offhand and do blast furnace up one. Right. So as usual, we'll do all three in the back. We'll do item input, fluid output, and fluid input. And then we'll do all those towards the bottom. And then fill the rest in with fire clay bricks. And this guy should be completely functional now without having to do anything else. We'll just cover that up. And you should be working, maybe. Doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Oh, it needs four EU per tick. Requires at least one steel hatch, right. Yeah, it does require a steel fluid input hatch. I should unluckily have everything I need for steel on me, so it's not too big of a deal. These are a lot easier to make than bronze at this point, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I do have more steel than I do bronze. But yeah, if we do it downwards now, did that go down? Yeah, it did. Now it should be working? Correct. There we go. Okay, yeah. For you for take. And now we're getting destabilized redstone. Ultra redstone, sorry. And unfortunately, our quartz is not actually budding fully yet. So that's going to be a while before that happens. However, we can get this drill online, hopefully, before that. And there's our bucket of molten redstone. So I'm going to head back on my horse, go get some food, and then we can head up to the assembler and see what we can craft. And if we throw a bucket of redstone in here, and then the recipe is iron casing, lens, and then four steel arch plates. And that guy should craft. Awesome. And I will throw one of the overclock upgrades inside of it. And I don't need this recipe anymore. And we got an atomic reconstructor. Now, I assume this guy will accept EU. However, I'm not sure. It says FE. I don't know if this will accept EU. Let's see. Oh, it will. Okay, perfect. Oh, no. I need this to be... Oh, uh oh uh oh uh oh, don't don't waste all my EU, please. Nope, stop that, please, sir. No, please stop that. False. There we go. And I will give it a button. Perfect. I'll take some coal, some redstone, and some iron. Perfect. So, if I go to this recipe up here, alright, now we know everything we need to craft. So let's head back over with Mr. Horse and see what we can do. Now, I pretty much just need Electrum wire, actually. Now that I think about it, that's pretty easy. So I'll just chuck all this in here. And Electrum should just be silver and gold. Can I make it in the alloy Yes, I can. So it's just silver and gold. Now, I should have silver. Should. Why did I come down here? My silver would be upstairs if I had any. Ah, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, we definitely have silver. Do that and some of that. That'll make Electrum, and then we just need to make it into wires. Make the drill core. And then I just need the light blue drill. Very, very simple. I do love this monocle that we get from the quest. I think it suits Thanos very well. And barely any progress on our buds. Unfortunate. And I don't need a flute for this guy, right? No, it doesn't seem like I do. Nice. I now have my light blue drill. But I'm not entirely sure how I go about powering it. Because I don't think I can throw it in the transformers down here. Yeah, I can't really throw it in those. Can't throw it in that. If I read this correctly, you can use a battery and shift right click to get power. Yeah, I don't actually know how this works. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made a portable storage unit and I just right clicked my battery over top of it. And now can I get power? Okay, I can. So I can just right click these and fill it with power. And then I just right click this, I assume, maybe. How does it charge? Hmm. Okay, now that isn't the next problem is actually getting it to charge my drill how would it go about that oh i could have just done this the entire time why didn't i think of this wow okay all you had to do was right click on this but i can't use the portable storage unit itself to do that so i'll just fill it up that way i guess let's test to see how much faster this actually is oh wow that's actually so much faster however is this a completed surgis quartz cluster it does look like it is so if i go ahead and mine this guy that's not what I want to do. 
There we go. But that is our first four Surtis sort of Quartz, unfortunately. That's all we do have. It's been about 40 minutes of downtime just waiting in my factory. I was AFK just editing a bit of this video. And I finally see our Surtis sort of Quartzes are pretty much all fully bloomed. So let's go down and harvest them and actually progress through AE like I originally wanted to in this episode. And then we can hopefully get our storage controller up and running. All right, so most of these are grown. We'll see. Okay, so touch is removed. Yes. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I have a Sirtis Quartz block now. That's cool. One thing I do miss now that budding Sirtis Quartz is like the way A2 does it, is my Amethyst Golems from ours. They're the most useful thing ever, because they automatically harvest these guys. However, we will be using a combination of Direwolf's mod, most likely. I was looking into that just for this, specifically, instead of Annihilation Planes. We'll see what we'd end up doing, though. That is a decent amount of Sirtis Quartz to start. Now, I do want to follow these quests specifically because they do give you quartz dusted rewards. They also give you 16 fluids cables and it gives you a few other things as well. Yeah, these give you all the silicon prints. This gives you more silicon and this gives you quartz dust as well. So yeah, the first thing we have to do is make silicon, which is just quartz dust, sand and that. I should have sand on me. Wow, I don't have sand on me. That should be an easy fix at least. All right, and I want to mix some Sirtis Quartz as well, or some Quartz, sorry. And then we can actually auto output that to the side. Where's my wrench? And then we can chuck that and sand, and then, yeah. And I'll throw some water in here too, because I need that eventually anyways. And then if I throw silicon in here, I just have a regular furnace. I haven't set up an electric furnace over here yet. However, this guy will give us printed silicon, which we can compress. Perfect. In the compressor. That gives us that. And then this guy, we just need an electric packer with a silicon press mode. So silicon press and blammo. Now I will also do two diamonds, two gold. I probably have gold plates on me. No, I don't. Wow. And what's the other one? Certus. Okay. Oh, these don't require diamond plates. Whoops. I should have read the recipe. Is there any use for silicon dust itself outside of batteries? It doesn't look like it, other than monocrystalline silicon, which is going to be UVH anyways, because that requires argon, and I assume argon is only the end with centrifuge? Oh no, you just centrifuge air. Never mind. Easy enough. And then I want the engineering press. And then we'll do calculation, we get two of those as well, and that should be everything I need. Oh, I need some quartz glass. Well, time to smelt some sand, I guess. And there's all of our circuits done. And then these guys, I just have to combine with redstone, right? Yeah, it's just molten redstone. I actually really like this recipe. So I should be able to just chuck all of those in and get what I need. I'm really running out of backpack space here. It's kind of dangerous. I really got to store stuff better. I also just probably should upgrade to gold backpacks as well. I'm not sure why I'm still in iron backpacks, considering I have gold stack upgrades. Because it's just gold, right? Yeah. Why don't I do that right now? There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. And then yeah, diamonds, but I don't have enough diamonds to sparingly throw that around. But for now, do something like that. And I'll start making our logic circuits. That's more printed silicon, glass, and quartz glass. I'll probably need another one of those. Yeah. So the first thing it wants is energy acceptor. I have that and I have the four steel plates I need. And that should be quest complete on both ends, which means I get quartz dust and that. And storage wars now. Check that off. And I get a meteorite compass. Meteorite. Colorizer compass, okay. How do I not have iron on me? Four iron, redstone, and then polarizer. But that's quest complete there. More flawless search squirts. And then yeah, we just make a Fluix crystal and give us Fluix ME cables. Now, what's really cool about this pack is they actually have ME wires, which I haven't actually tested, but I assume work as ME cables and also transfer power. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. However, it is two cables, four quartz fibers, and two bronze plates will give you 16 ME wires. So this is an extraordinary deal. Like, I don't know why anyone wouldn't do this specifically. It is an absolutely incredible uh, craft recipe you can craft it as well this way however this is hands down the best recipe you're gonna get so i'm gonna make some quartz fibers real quick and i need four unfortunate gotta macerate some more surface quartz but we have plenty thankfully and then we'll do redstone and quartz and that'll get us fluid crystals very simply however in the assembler i can assemble this this and what did i say it was bronze curved plates which i have 35 of yeah these guys will make emmy wires for us which is super cool. And I'm just gonna keep pumping these out and hopefully these work as I think they will. Now, I don't know exactly where I want my energy acceptor or my initial ME system, but for now, I think it's fine because what I want to do is make the storage terminal, the crafting terminal, 
which isn't too hard. It is Search Squirts, Flukes Dust, and Logic Processor. So we'll do maceration of, I don't know, six of those, I guess, for now. And then we need to use what? Search Squirts, Quartz, and that. Okay, so we'll do, once again, inventory is full. Oh, I might have a Quartz. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. I'll do three formation planes. Oh, no. Three formation planes and then three annihilation cores. And that should be fine. What else do I need to craft here? I need an ME interface, obviously, for a storage bus. And this guy was aluminum plates, right? And I should have my aluminum on me. Yes, I do. Compressor, please. So, basically, the plan is, instead of jumping directly to an ME controller, because these do require the electronic circuits, which are diodes, transformers, and circuit boards, which are all very craftable at the moment. However, I'm going to skip over that for now. Just use an ME interface, or sorry, a energy acceptor which gives you eight channels i will use an emmy interface which will craft a storage bus the storage bus will allow us to connect to a storage controller from sophisticated storage and this will connect all of our barrels back at our base hopefully i will break them bring them over here see what i can do and then eventually connect the uh, storage terminal between both bases like underground with the emmy pipes and then eventually wirelessly obviously however for now we'll bring that over there and see how it works. Those guys are done. Make three of these. And I want an Emmy interface. Yes. Just give me two. Perfect. And that gives us a storage controller. Now, if I go ahead and say break these blocks here, and I don't want to double stack stuff in my thing like that. However, if I go ahead and bring these barrels over, you know what? I'll bring you two. Let's see what we can do. Device online, it is getting power. Now, if I do storage controller, say here, I mean storage bus like that, and I mean wire like this. Oh, those do not connect. Okay, so what is the point of these guys? <laughs> yeah, I just assume you can't connect directly against these guys, which is bizarre in my opinion. Yeah, you just straight up can't connect those. Interesting. Okay, so we need proper ME cables. I should have some left in here, yeah. So that's fine, not an issue. However, this is online. It seems to be connected. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to be able to access the inventory. Duh. So we'll grab an ME terminal, which is more quartz glass, which means I need more sand. Okay, so glowstone, redstonia, and steel plate. Pretty easy. I should place these guys down beside him, maybe. I don't know if this actually connects. We'll see. Who knows? To find out, we shall. Okay, try attempt two. I need the steel plate still. How did I forget? Attempt three. <laughs> Illuminate panel. And then we get to the terminal. So we just need annihilation plane, logic press. And I should have some of these somewhere, maybe. Did I really not make any of these? I should have. No. Wow. I guess I didn't make enough. Well, we'll make some more, I guess. Which we don't have redstone for. Cheers. So with a logic processor, attempt number four can happen. So we got the ME terminal. And then a crafting terminal is pretty straightforward. Just need two, one piece of wood and a calculation press, which I should have. Yes. And that is our crafting terminal done. Now I wonder if these guys can connect with ME wires. I'm going to assume the answer is no. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Unfortunate. So I'll grab it out you and do an ME terminal here. And we can access all of our storage. I believe. It shouldn't just be these two barrels. No, it doesn't seem so. It seems everything's connected. Can I just check everything in there? Oh my goodness, I can. Wow, we actually have a primitive enemy storage system set up. Finally. Now, it's not the prettiest thing. I'm going to upgrade all of these to gold barrels just so I can actually have access. But yeah, we properly have a storage system online. This will make life so much easier at our factory here. And I will set this up properly. This is not the definitive setup. I want terminals in the walls down below on like the posts. So I want a post either in the middle or like terminals in some of the walls and then have storage maybe in the back corners over here. I'm not entirely sure. I will work out the layout eventually, but for now, all I want to worry about is the fact that we actually have a way to store and craft everything all in one, and I can get rid of hoarding stuff in my backpacks forever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We did what we set out to do. We got our ME terminal online. We got a bunch more LV machines set up in the background as well. And we also got an atomic reassembler and a fancy new blue drill as well. 
So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like on the video. It means a lot. If there was something you learned, or if there was something you liked about this pacing or style of video, leave it in the comments below. I do read them all. If you aren't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads or any other videos I make. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.